today I would like to present about my um, current research that I have been doing. Uh, it's that it is related with information scale in the built environment. So, so what does information scale mean? Uh, it is uh, quite abstract and it's a new word or new term that I have been uh, searching about the, what is the information scale in the uh, in the built environment online. So I don't have that much uh, uh, very specific uh, uh, explanation on internet. I I can only find the information landscape on information practice discipline. So then me and Professor Chat, uh, ChatGPT, what is information scape mean? <laughs> So it is very uh, <laughs> it is very concise and uh, uh, we can get uh, what we are expecting. Uh, in uh, so I would like to uh, define the information scape uh, in a, in a built environment. So information scape is a network or information source display and communication system that are present within a particular environment. Uh, that information scape can be a physical display such as sign, mat, and digital display such as screen, uh, interactive cues, or other form of communication including the like audio, uh, announcement or, or ambient light. Uh, these are some of the examples of information that we can find out in the in our built environment. So, uh, so why I want to learn about that uh, information scape? So. At first, I want to uh, uh, discuss uh, one more thing about the complexity in built environment. So, so what is complexity? So, the term complexity refers to the higher order phenomena rising from a system many connected, in our adding set uh, component uh, component and describe both dynamic and statistic. Uh, static. So it's very complicated. Uh, yeah, that's why it's complexity. That it, that's why it is called complexity. So uh, in in our built environment, especially uh, uh, when you are trying to understand beyond the architectural scale. Uh, uh, like visual or, or the, uh, the perception about the spatial experience in built environment. So you don't have, to, uh, you couldn't uh, study uh, alone in one aspect. At that time, uh, the complexity comes in. So uh, complex, uh, if you, you, uh, if you want to learn or if you want to research a uh, uh, very sophisticated way, you cannot uh, uh, you cannot only research on one certain topic. You have to uh, combine with other uh, uh, like like visual uh, visual and then temporal uh, like. Uh, according to the time and visual, you can combine it. it it's also a kind of like uh, complexity. So uh, complexity, uh, 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 with, uh, uh, yeah. Then, uh, then I also read about how to measure complexity in built environment, and I found out that. Uh, uh, according to the order, 
he explained about five criteria, five, five dimension, uh, complexity in built environment that every architect or uh, urban designer can be, uh, can be study uh, according to the complexity. Uh, the first one is uh, temporal. Uh, temporal. So it's, it is the research, uh, 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 in that perspective that you can uh, research about the process, the behavior change over time and over uh, uh, duration. Uh, your research can be talk about like traffic jam or crowd behavior or your uh, dynamic or uh, like you go, uh, like population grew or decline uh, uh, regarding to the duration of a period of time. And then the another one is uh, visual, which is more related with information skate that I have been emphasized on later uh, later part of the presentation and uh, uh, visual. So. Uh, so visual is more about uh, human perception, and then and then uh, uh, visual experience in uh, in built environments. So uh, so by learning uh, in in that perspective, we can learn uh, about the uh, how people uh, uh, feel in, in that space or how people behave how people uh, move around uh, that we have been uh, plan uh, as being as an architect have been planned uh, in a, uh, in your building or in your built environments so uh, we can also learn uh, the human activities in in building so that the for that it's uh, that dimension is Spatial. It means uh, we can land uh, like like we plan uh, in in architectural scale, like zoning plan, and we categorize the mixed use or office or commercial or residential, like uh, like this. Uh, in even in the built environment, we can also categorize as a land. Uh, the uh, land use analysis, some things, and then scaling and the 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 fifth uh, dimension will be connectivity. Uh, con uh, connectivity will be also uh, analyzed in uh, in built environments using uh, kind of. Uh, 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 quite popular method called state standard. Uh, so these are some of the dimension learning complexity in in built environments. So uh, after that, I would like to emphasize on visual. So why? Uh, have you ever imagined that uh, that your your desire to sit uh, uh, to sit in in a build in uh, for example like you are in in this classroom like people like to sit uh, everywhere scattering around but uh, but somebody want to sit near professor and somebody want to hide at the at the corner so. Have you ever imagined what, what is that, uh, that kind of feeling uh, you can experience or you? It also depends on the information scale. If you like, uh, for example, if you went to, if you sit near uh, around professor, you can get the information quite easily. Or uh, uh, if you like to sit. Uh, at the corner of the classroom, you might lose some accessibility or availability or information from professor. Professor, but on the other hand, you can get a 
sense of secure. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, uh, this is a human behavior. So like people want to say, oh, oh, they they uh, that information trade off happen. What the, uh, what situation you wanna sit in? So so yeah. So this is also related with information scale. <laughs> that I want to emphasize on later part. And, and now I want to talk about uh, ISOVID uh, as a method to study visual, uh, visual position. Uh, ISOVID have been uh, developed since 1979 from Benedict, uh researcher. Uh, he explained, uh, he, uh, he Define what is a uh, what is isovids. Isovids. You can imagine that that you are standing inside the this room, and then you can look around 360 degree, and you might find some barrier or or columns or wall, or you can uh, if if there has a window, you can even look outside. So. So, uh, so isovid is a uh, interpretation of your visual boundary, uh, uh, boundary in in uh, in in graphic scale. So, so in this in this picture, uh, you can find out that uh, 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 this is isovid, and then in in a gray color, we can identify your visual boundary is called isovid area and then and then the uh, and then when you look at to the dotted uh, yellowish line it is called osculating at or osculating at with uh, uh, I will explain it more about later it is also uh, related with human secure, uh, human sec sense of secure and mystery. Uh, you can uh, uh, you can analyze based on statistic uh, purpose. And this is uh, this is the isovid boundary. Uh, you can imagine that. They has a global boundary which which is called your research site and then visual boundary uh, which means that you can identify the what kind uh, what uh, how many distances you want to analyze this on the distance uh, it also depends on your eyes and it and it can also be interpret uh, interpreted as your research distance and and then uh, how uh, isovid are, are constructed uh, uh, is that you can look at to the uh, 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 left upper uh, diagram it is uh, drawn by uh, imaginary uh, line uh, to the to your Barrier and then and then drawing it as a pol uh, as a polygon, then it became uh, isovid view. Uh, the radial lines are also very important uh, uh, since it can be uh, identify your visual distances from your standing point to your uh, uh, your direction or your your focal point. So yes, uh, and then and uh, this is the uh, graphical uh, comparison of visual uh, isovids that are generated from different position, different tree position in the same architecture plan. Uh, you can imagine that uh, from the right, uh, right, right. Uh, right, right side plan. Uh, uh, you are imagine that you are standing in the doorway, and then you can look at to the 
uh, surrounding in 360 degree. This is the, uh, it might be the, uh, the, the area that you can look around uh, in a building. Or if you, in a, if you are standing in the center of the building, uh, you can you can find out that uh, where which part you can look at it. This is the interpretation of how many percentage uh, and, and like very empirically how many uh, percentage you can uh, you can visualize uh, in a built environment. The, and uh, so. This is just a graphical presentation. So how we can measure the eyes of it? So it's come in with some mathematical model. Before I come, uh, before I explain about that mathematical model, and uh, we might uh, consider when we are studying eyes of it, uh, what what outcome what what out can you want to get from eyes of it to to interpret interpret your research? I mean, for me, uh, I I am studying the information scape, so the distance is very important for me from uh, uh, from a, a, a certain location and to the information. That distance is very important to me. So. Uh, when you measure the eyes of it, uh, you need a theoretical model. Uh, theoretical model means it's it's not very complicated. Uh, uh, that that one of the uh, uh, theoretical model I found out when I uh, read about the eyes of it. It is called Prospect and refuge theory. So I would like to explain a bit, a bit of it. So, so prospect and refuge. I uh, mean, what is prospect and what is refuge in in big environments? And the the theory contains only four main component. One is prospect. Uh, the another refuge and complexity and mystery. So, uh, in the psychological point of view, prospect is a theory that indicates a clear vision, and those with larger uh, field of visual are better placed to detect possible enemy that encounter with limited vision. And prospect also related to the data of perspective and geometrical features of isolated area and maximum radial line, uh, land openness, perceptual and outlook features and suspicious. And refuge is also a key that is respect, uh, represent a space that uh, which is partially closed and provide a safe hiding place in dangerous situation. Uh, and complexity uh, also refer to the amount of information contained in a space, which is, uh, you can imagine, uh, in, in when you are going to a trade uh, in in such urban area and then uh, downtown area, you can find out that uh, yeah, that the amount of your the amount of advertisement uh, signage or billboard is different between uh, uh, between two space. So it is uh, uh, so you can imagine. Uh, Imaging complexity based on two that uh, that are set up suburb area and downtown area, and the the, the last one is mystery. Uh, mystery is also associated with the lack of information. Uh, 
uh, about a place and intellig its in intelligibility. So mystery, if you don't have any information source, you might be panicked. Uh, if you don't know about that, that place that you are, uh, you are currently right now, or uh, people might feel misery or might be anxious, then uh, that kind of uh, theoretical, using that kind of so, uh, psychological theoretical model to measure the, this ice of it. So uh, uh, we can interpret it with that, uh, using that, uh, that psychological theoretical model. So, uh, so I, I saw it. So, so we can calculate its circularity and area parameter ratio, and we can also calculate the variance and screwness of that uh, that isovit uh, area. And then all school all school all school safety. So what does all school safety means? You can calculate. Um, uh, uh, when you look at to the left side or the left side of the, the diagram, uh, 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 you might know that they has a, a, a school outscoring age, uh, and then uh, that age is we couldn't see to other side. Uh, our, our school safety means that. Uh, 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 it's uh, the total uh, the total parameter minus that of school or of age. So uh, uh, using that our school victory, uh, our school safety uh, uh, measure, we can know how the space is uh, lack of information or how the space is might secure or something like that. And there has several kind of other uh, isovit measure to that I haven't uh, put it in here. And another, uh, the another interesting measure is uh, schoolness uh, of isovit that you can imagine uh, in in this three diagram. Uh, when you look at to the right side of uh, when you look at to the right side of the diagram A, you might uh, you, you you may imagine that uh, there has a wall behind you, but the wall and the distances the distance between the wall and you is have a relatively large uh, uh, large dimension. Uh, yeah, sorry. Can you switch back to the slide which shows the formula to calculate this? Oh, oh yes, bro. Here. The, the, the bottom one, right? Yes. How can it be negative? How can it be negative? Yeah. Uh, uh, this value cannot be negative. Uh, uh, yes, bro. Uh, it's, it can be calculated in each in each, uh, each time, each each radial length minus mean radial length, yeah, and then, then combine the square, so it becomes positive. I mean, this is just like the. I mean, this formula is to calculate the standard variation. Yes, bro. For statistics. Yes, bro. And it can only be positive. But then, in the following slide. Yes, we have bro. discussion on the three situation. Yes, bro. And then the first one, he say when n is smaller than zero, how can it be possible? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's something wrong, right? Yeah, but yeah. I I feel like the, this uh, this diagram uh, I I took this diagram from the very first introduction of uh, of uh, isovit. Okay. That have been idealized by uh, researcher Bandy, Bandy, Benedict. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> then you you might uh, so in the figure A, so you might feel that you uh, you can also experience in your 
uh, in your eyesight and also you might be uh, feel a, a little bit lack of security between bad or okay. your sorry I would say n would be equal to zero only if you are standing in a field without any any obstructions yes right. so all the uh, how do you say the view uh, <laughs> the radio has exactly the same value equal yeah. to the average yes then right. it is zero otherwise m has to be larger than zero yes right. so yeah okay. yeah then uh, apart from that uh, that measurable uh, they has a lot of measurable based on ISO it and you can image uh, you can calculate the passation of uh, exposure and openness or misery or complexity or entertainment so based on what you want to uh, what you want to research you can uh, look at that kind of typical isometric indicator and then interpret your you can interpret your research view so so in in i in architecture and urban scale isometric can be assessed various social and connected properties in architecture plan and you can also uh, uh, assess the accessibility and spatial and social uh, structure. And then uh, the main, uh, uh, the one of the benefit of that uh, that study is that you can interpret the uh, mathematical measure, and then uh, statistically you can interpret it with. Uh, with numerical value, uh, with uh, human behavior, and then uh, the uh, the next thing is you can uh, study human perception in spatial uh, exposure and enclosure in the built environment. Uh, so my research framework is that, uh, like I talked before, uh, uh, people like to. See uh, like to stay uh, what they are very comfortable with within a uh, given environment and then uh, due to that uh, due to that situation people also uh, that information that he or she can get it's also different from what they have been uh, staying in a given environment. So I want to measure the information availability within uh, 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 in in different position in a given area. Uh, so uh, so I will be using the uh, uh, surely night market will be my research area uh, as a uh, as a base map and then creating ISO bits in 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 grasshopper then and then calculate the length the length of uh, people uh, people and uh, the information source so 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 this is very simple and professor already uh, discussed about this last uh, last week, uh, it is I I extract the data from OpenStreetMap uh, uh, and I use uh, Grasshopper uh, call plugin Caribou, uh, then extract the big map, and this is the very simple one isolated area. So. Uh, so by using this, we can calculate, uh, we can uh, extract uh, the isolated uh, land and then area, and, and then I will in then I I'm using this mat and then I make a boundary 
then calculate how. Uh, uh, I I will set a random uh, ra random isovit point and then simulate it, and we can find out that uh, that general idea of of that uh, that visibility graph. So we can see that. Uh, so sorry about my. Uh, I haven't. Uh, I haven't identified. I haven't explained this graph uh, before. This is the template of Shirley. Uh, sh uh, uh, temple uh, in Shirley, which is near the tiger billboard, and then very crowded. Uh, 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 street food you can find out there. Then, yeah, this is the bed basement, and then, and then when I when when I ran a simulation, we, I I find out that uh, uh, in we in that area we can see a lot of uh, uh, we can see the marginal uh, marginal color. So at, at that area, the isovit lands are very, uh, uh, the mineral isovit area are very uh, optimal, uh, assessing to the, uh, assessing to the information. So, uh, so yeah, and then I will be. This is my current state of research, and I will be implement on based on the isolated radio land and all exclusivity uh, later on. And what I expect, so what I expect from this research, so I want to, uh, isolate have been developed over uh, almost uh, five decades, so I want to fill a knowledge gap. Oh, I saw it have been developed, so there has been a lot of uh, research going on using that kind of method, but uh, there has a lot uh, uh, knowledge gap between the ISO bit and the visual uh, and the information scale. So I want to fill the gap of acquisition, uh, information density, and accessibility and availability from built environment using ISOVID. And then the research uh, uh, framework is to quantify the, uh, the qualification, uh, qual uh, quality of re uh, information scale to provide better spatial experience and innovative wayfinding ideas in the built environment. And overall, the research will display the I uh, will display the information scale analysis have the potential for studying complex interaction between spatial configuration and human behavior in the aspect of information availability. Thank you. Okay, questions?